What's the buzz? This is Dr. Diane at the Shenandoah Valley Discovery Museum, and today we're going to be more grateful for our wonderful friends, the honeybees. So we can't wait to welcome you back here where you're gonna get a chance to meet our bees, but in the meantime, we'd like you to see where they start their journey. So come along with me, and we're gonna buzz on over to the beehive and see where it all begins. You can see the inside of a honeybee hive is a really busy place to be. There's lots of bees going about their business in different ways. You can see a lot of times the bees are touching each other. They're touching each other with their antennae and with their front legs sometimes. And sometimes they're doing that to share food and resources. So one of them might be transferring nectar to the other bee. But other times they do that to share information. They might be telling each other about where to find food and, re food and water resources or they might be sharing information about the state of the hive. How is the queen doing? What's going on? Is there anything that they should be worried about or thinking about? This type of community is really important because it helps the hive operate as a, as a complete unit, which is hard when there's so many bees inside the hive. You can see this kind of communication also taking place at the entrance of the hive. At the entrance of the hive, you can see there's a small door here and it's protected with a wire shield so that mice can't get in. These bees here um, are all touching each other and they're sharing information about whether they belong in this hive. Every bee that belongs in this hive has a particular smell and the guard bees at the entrance make sure that everybody who comes in has the right smell. A bee from one of the other hives in the apiary, like that one over there, would have a different smell and that bee would not be allowed to come in. If you look closely, you can see that some of the bees that are coming in have pollen on their legs. They have yellow or orange pollen on their legs. And those are the pollen baskets. There's one going in right now. And she's gonna go and deposit that pollen inside the hive and that pollen will be used to feed the babies. The next step after that is that she's going to tell the other bees where to go to find good pollen. And she'll do that using the waggle dance. There's a great um, bee right there with lots of pollen on her legs. <laughs> 